YouTube, what's good, what's good? Welcome back. What up, how y'all doing? Okay, so today we got a full body circuit workout for you guys. A little something different. Um, change up the tempo and the pace, and we hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna dive right in, all right? Yeah, for sure. Start with the uh, hex bar. We're gonna do deadlifts on the hex bar. And after our deads, um, we'll go into uh, ab wheel rollout from a standing position on the, uh, with the barbell. After the barbell, we're doing 10 push-ups. After the 10 push-ups, we're doing 10 pull-ups. So we're gonna go through the whole circuit five times. We got five rounds, we're gonna do them all through here. We'll take one minute break in between, chop it up, you know, talk about different little topics, and then we'll go from there. Let's get it. Let's do it. Um, I'm doing, you're gonna do 10 deads, then you're gonna move to 10 um, rollouts, then you're gonna do 10 push-ups, and then 10 pull-ups. I'm gonna do pulls to deads to rollouts. Alright, let's do it. Yeah. So you did deads, rollouts. Yeah, roll out to pull ups to push ups. Push this workout is really good for people that want to cut down and get more lean because mm -hmm. you're burning a lot of calories. You're constantly moving. You're looking to lose some weight or drop down or get more lean. Circuit work workouts are really good for you. Perfect. For sure. Yeah, we'll take a minute break in between and then go into then go into the next one again. Cool. I'm out of breath. For sure. Yeah, I mean, you don't have many tips. I mean, with the deadlift, you know, I mean, the hex bar is a little bit easier than uh, a barbell yeah. deadlift. Uh, it's just because the weight is thin or different and just the way you have to carry the weight. But always keeping your spine neutral, you know what I mean? Um, it's really similar to a regular deadlift. For the, oh, go ahead. Yeah, the ab so rollout. So for the ab rollout, we're doing it from a standing position, which is a lot harder. Um, once you build your core strength, it'll be a lot easier for you, but I would say uh, starting out, you could do it on your knees, all right, and then keep your feet off, so you be right here on your knees, feet off the ground, and you can kind of straight up, just like that, all right, because it's going to be, it's a lot harder to go from a standing position for you, people that aren't that advanced, so we're about to get into it, go into our second one, like you said, we're doing five, five rounds, so we're one down right now. One down, we got, we got, uh, you know, four to go. Ready? Yep. Unacceptable from a friend or somebody that you call a friend. What do you mean? What is something that a friend can do that is unacceptable? 
that's just like anything. It could be anything. It could be anything. It's just like what you call this person your friend. They do they do something that hinders you or affects you in some way, shape or form. What is it that's like like I ain't fucking with you no more, you know my friend. Oh uh, <laughs> man. And we can't be fucking uh, no more. When you're rocking with you. Yeah, you, you gotta be a, you gotta be a man of your word, like to be cool with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you if you a type of person that you told me something and then you go back on your word, I, I mean, because I, I, I mean that's all we really have. Like, oh yeah, you know what I'm yeah, yeah. You got your word, and I feel like that's I mean that's very minimal. You know what I'm saying? To keep your word, somebody you care about, um, that's the least you could do. Uh, oh, yeah, so, for sure. For I mean, sure. Um, I think. Uh, any type of sneaky, like, sneaky activity. Yeah, low-key, like, Like, yeah. going behind your back, doing something that you know is probably, like, you know, that they, they know is probably, like, gonna somehow affect you. Yeah. Any type of sneaky activity is, like, okay, I'm watching you now. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I got my eyes on you. Like, yeah, for sure. We cool and all, but, like, I just know I know something, you know what I'm saying, that I ain't really, you know? Like, what you mean like, by, like, sneaky activity? It could be anything. It could be... It could be, for instance, like say you got, say you, uh, these are your associates when you, when you go at work, but it's like, say you in sales at work or something like that, or say I'm here, right? And you know, somebody go behind my back and talk to one of my clients, like, hey, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? I need you, uh, you know what I'm saying? I want you to train with Dion because of this. I'm trying to throw me under the bus or something like that, right? Oh, yeah. Stuff like that. I mean, stuff but you like know what happens all the time? Man. Uh, and that could be, that, that happens from friends, so, that you, so, or so, people that you call friends. Trying to, trying to, yeah, and then like, a lot of people are big on like low key going behind your back to shoot. They shot your shot. They shot at your ex or something. Oh like yeah, that. for sure. Like oh yeah, I, man. That's for cool, sure, man. For sure, they trying to shoot. They trying to shoot your ex, your ex girl or whatever. I feel like I feel like any like any girl that I've say we could have only dated for a month. You, she kind of off limits. I mean. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't even want to talk. So if you was yeah, dating a girl, I get you. If you was dating a girl, period, like you could have been dating her for three weeks and it didn't work out. I don't even want to talk to her at that point. Like at I all, even, I wouldn't even want to. What, okay, so what happened in the three weeks though? You dated her. Is that it? Did I smash? Oh uh, yeah, pro- I mean probably. Oh, what if you said what if you didn't smash though? Uh, I mean, if she was never your girlfriend, there? if she was never your girlfriend, never your girl, and never smashed. But that's y'all what, dated. Y'all just gotta weeks. communicate that. Though. Three weeks. I say you would just communicate that. Yeah. Because <laughs> like the, la- the the last thing you want to do is like your homie was rocking with a girl, and then you show up and, with and her, then, and then, you, and then yeah, you just pull up with her. Nah, that's not. You know what I'm it's saying? Gonna be like, because I'm a, I'm just gonna be like, little about, and then I mean he gonna keep it real with you, like yeah. I, he gonna I, give it a buck. It's no thing, like. Yeah, but deep down, he, he felt some type of way. Oh, top. <laughs> he felt some type of way for sure. Yeah. You pulled over to like, he could be like, hey, I think friends, um, listen to deep, like, jealousy is big in friendships, I noticed. Yeah, for sure. Like, people of accolades that you may have came across or whatever the case, you mean you, you've you advanced in life somehow, some shape or form, or you start doing better than somebody else. Leveling up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Leveling up. A lot up of people then. aren't comfortable. Like, they, they're cool say you do good. But not better than them. But, but it, it gets They want you to do good, but not better than them. When it, when it starts to threaten, like, what they got going, they feel like you're a threat. Yeah. You know oh, yeah. Instead, oh, yeah. Of, instead of looking at somebody as somebody you can, that can help you out. Yeah, exactly. Well, or it's like, you're there. Well, so I want to be there. Yeah. How do I get there? Let me get around you, figure out what you're doing right. You know to saying? better yourself and exactly. grow, so, so I can grow too. Exactly. Not like, oh man, like, how you do that? Like, and you know, it's, hey, it's yeah. negative energy always. Yeah. Just you know what I'm saying? Like, I pick up on stuff like that, and it's a trip. But uh, I try and just, you know, keep my friends close, enemies close, type thing. You know? For sure, I watch everybody. Yeah, it's a trip though. Ready? Let's jump back into the uh, next circuit. Get crazy, boy. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> After you are like seven, nuts. For like six, seven, eight. Yeah. 
in. Three down, two more. So I had a question come up. Um, somebody asked me to ask this question. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about dating, dating people with kids? What are your thoughts on dating people with kids? Um, I have a kid, I have a kid, so, uh, even, even with me having a child, I don't necessarily want to date a woman with a child, Fair. um, for a different, a number of different reasons. I honestly, everybody on the, on the channel, every female on the channel is going to hate me. But <laughs> he gonna throw that out there. Oh, right I'm just gonna throw it out there right away. Yeah, 100. But I, I don't want to deal with somebody else's battle scars, physically. Like, just what you mean by that? It, I mean, cause okay, um, bearing a child is a battle. It's like it's it's a, it's like the, the women have to go through a lot to bear a child. Yeah. Right. Um, they start to deal with stretch marks, et cetera, et cetera, overweight. You know what I'm saying? Emotionally. Wait, time out, time out. I know you're not. Yeah. I know you I know you're not tripping off no stress marks. It yes, no, and no, and yes. Oh. It man. just it, no. Mm. It depends. It depends. Oh, come on, bro. You gotta grow up, bro. No, no. I, I mean, it, it depends on what we're talking. I mean, cause there's 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 different levels of, you know, severity of stress marks. True, true. I mean, true. we can like, really I'm not saying everybody has stress marks. I mean, yes, like cool. Okay, yeah. That's fine. It's like, it becomes an issue when, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's not aesthetically pleasing. For me, at least. For me, I mean, realistically, it's, I mean, like the physical is always important for a male, right? Yeah. And so I want to be able to look at my girl and be like, damn. Well, anybody, yeah. Anybody that says downplay you or knock you for wanting what you want physically. You know, and they're, come on, they're come being on. a hypocrite. Cause yeah. Everyone, everyone wants something, you know what I'm saying? They, I want something nice thing. to look at. And no, there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing with, wrong with, like, but there's also nothing wrong with the fact that you've had a child and you, you know, you've gone through that. And you know what I'm saying? Like you have scars to show that. That's perfectly fine. However, what I'm just saying is, if I'm gonna be going into a long-term relationship, I want, I want to give my girl those scars to deal with, okay, right? And, yeah. I, and then that, that's my, you know, I did that. We did that together. Yeah. Not, I don't want to have to deal with somebody else's. Somebody else's, yeah. B baggage, baggage. Is baggage. Exactly what it is. Well, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's what it's about. Like, it's all about finding somebody that's willing, because everybody's coming with baggage. Absolutely. I mean, whether, it, yeah. whether it's the physical baggage or mental, emotional, emotional, mental, mental, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere. Everyone has, has some kind of baggage, and it's all about just finding what you're willing to, you know what I'm saying? Compromise. Pull up with, yeah, yeah, pull up with sure. in, in, in what you're willing to unpack, help unpack at least. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's, that's that's big. Yeah. I don't think I don't think having a kid. The older I get, though, the more it, it, I don't think it will really matter to me. I mean, I've never dated a girl with a kid. It depends um, on a lot. I feel in like. a serious. I feel like it. Feel, it depends on maybe like her financial, her financial stability. Because because if she comes into the relationship and you're the only one that's financing anything. She comes into a relationship with a child, and she's not able to, you know, kind of even take care of herself financially. Then that's adding something towards your. That's your bag your plate. that's getting, you know, yeah. what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the baby needs this. That's not my baby. The baby needs this. That's not my child. Like, yeah. but they're taking the money from you. I mean, because you know what I'm saying. You dating a woman with a child that isn't financially capable of taking care of her child by herself. Which, I mean, is not always the case at all. Like, you run into women all the time, you know what I mean, that, that are doing their own thing, making their own money, have their kid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, but, so I think the financial, financially, they have to be there. Um, the relationship with the baby's father oh, has huge. to be. That's huge. Oh, man, that because, has to be like. Because that's, that'll make or break. Because oh. that's bringing not unnecessary drama. Straight negativity. Yeah, man. Straight negativity. That's unless that. unless they are cool and he understands that it's over and she understands that it's over and they're just co-parenting at that point and helping the kid out and doing whatever for the kid. Yeah. If not, like, because that. That's huge. I'm that's not dealing with that at all. At all. That's out all the way. <laughs> so that's that's what I'm saying. So that okay, that that is a long that that's that's emotional baggage or even like uh, some type of that's emotional yeah baggage. Um, having an extra person to, to oh, deal with. That's just my take on it. Let's get it.
circuit we got for you guys you guys try yeah. that next time you go to the gym like i said if you're looking to cut lean down lose weight this will be good for you keep it moving one minute breaks in between yeah, maybe seconds. two minutes yeah 60 seconds 60 so. seconds is solid i mean that's just gonna keep your heart rate up and moving but it's gonna allow it to drop and then spike back up while you're working absolutely yeah so you guys get out of try man hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys next week all right peace peace <laughs>